I wish you wouldn't shoot me so far. Oh, it smells amazing. Missing much, is he? Yeah, he's, I know I said it just now, but he's bloody awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. It's that time of year when crops are about to deliver on their promise. Mm. What you don't oh, want is something or someone eating the fruits of your labour. I wish you'd stop eating them, David. And do more filming. <laughs> Tonight, the challenge is to see if Andy, let loose on a fruit farm, oh, look at that can one. eat more than the rabbits he's oh, here to oh. control. These are strawberries in here. And the other polytunnels, they've got raspberries in. They're not so much of a problem on the strawberries, but they... I was going to say, these, they, these rabbits jump, do they, in order to the grab these straws? No, they, they, they <laughs> don't, David. They've got ladders. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but no, they, they've been uh, eating the barks on the, the raspberries, which are at the other end but we just work our way through and uh, while it's light. And we did shoot here a couple of weeks ago with the 2-2, but we've shot them a few times now and they're getting a bit wise to the old job. So we've decided to use the 1-7 tonight so that we can shoot them a bit further out. But it makes the job a lot easier. So that's the plan for tonight. This is actually our second attempt at making this rabbit shooting film. Our first outing was two weeks earlier when Paul from Infiray made the trip down south to set up Andy with some of their latest gear. I've only got one lid. I've only got one lid. <laughs> I'm, 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 so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What? Lucky you're only looking for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, right so what have I got to do? Short press it. Yep. And then short press it again. Yeah? Short press it. Short Cousin press Gary it again, was yeah. also on call, just in case. He's a bit more patient when it comes to this sort of thing. Clever stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I know. <laughs> what was that, sir? <laughs> no, what was that? <laughs> what was that? What did you say? You can't see the What was that? He said something, he said something about a Schwarzky, didn't he? I think, I think that's what he said. Not, did you just say it? I thought it was better than my. What, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's done. <laughs> that is something else. Infiray's tube TD50L night vision scope is mounted on a very smart camo stocked R8 in 2.2. That is incredibly quiet, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's like a misfire. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one, didn't you? No more, I'll film it with Andy Crow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> with everyone happy and Paul questioning his choice of evening's entertainment, it's time to head to our permission. It's a livestock farm where rabbit numbers are on the up and up. Unfortunately for us and our filming, so is the grass. The good weather has flushed it up and even though Andy bags a few, it's not the night we'd hoped for. Thankfully, we have a plan B. Right, ready? And yeah. once Gary's in gear, we'll be off. You're, you're clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> what half the shade you got on? I've got half the shade on. Yeah. I'm It's a fun permission with aisles of opportunities and the chaps are keen to get out here and play. Is this pick your own? No, it's not, David. This is a commercial farm? It is commercial, yes. Is Gary... <laughs> Yeah, David. No way. That's where they they got holes there as well, look. Yeah. Gary is on fire and his trusty Anschutz is picking off the rabbits at range, which means Andy has to put the legwork in. Did he have a night yeah. sight and stuff like that in the past? No, never did. No, yeah. no. Just had good scopes, you know, good lenses so that you could see in twilight. But, yeah. but this is a real game changer, really. And also I can go on my own. You know, I've got the buggy now. If I can't get a lamp, I can go on my own. Yeah. You haven't got to have a lamp. That's true. So, I hadn't thought about that. Well, that's, that was the reason, the you main reason I wanted. You don't have to be sociable anymore, Gary. Well, that suited me down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those new to shooting, the 1.7 HMR and 2.2 rimfire rounds are ideal for rabbits, but they have good points and bad points. Here is a quick summary from Crow and Gary. 
in 30 seconds, Corey, for those that don't know, yeah. two, we've used the 22 and a 17 HMR. Yep. Quick difference. Um, everyone knows what my favourite is and Gary's. Uh, we used to love the 22, but with the 17, it's it's lethal. They've both got their place, haven't they? Yeah, of course they have. Yeah. So, of so have. you've got a lot of rabbits. Yeah. Close. Yeah, you've got close range rabbits. Uh, a lot of people shoot rabbits out long range, but um, we have, as you've seen it, it's, it's snap shooting here tonight, and uh, it's just straight on them. Okay, we'll, give me a pro of a 2.2. What's the pro for it? Silent. Okay, Tom. Ricochets in hard ground. Um, That's the worst thing. And the both, and that, that same thing then for HMR, 17 HMR? Uh, good out to 200 yards, uh, 150 no problem at all, especially in Gary or Gary's hands. Um, especially at night, you know, where you yeah. more difficult to judge the difference, the distance. Yeah, they're, they're, they're plumb on out, out to, well, 150 is zero. I mean, we've, we've got zeroed in, we've, we're confident out of 150. Okay, and a con? Uh, noise, noise, but they don't take a lot of notice of it because yeah. if, if they hear it once, they're dead anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. and I suppose the cost, then, isn't it? What's that? The cost a little bit, maybe of the bullets. The cost is a bit, but the way rabbits are at the moment, they they, they pay for the bullets anyway. Okay, one sevens more expensive than two two. Yeah, okay, a lot, lot more expensive, but you kill more rabbits with in Gary's hands. Sure. These two are clearly enjoying themselves this evening, and even when David has to go to the night vision setting on his camera, the infrared is still super clear in the low light. Clear enough for shots like this. Ah, oh, shot. What an ambush. That's it. Doing all right, isn't he? Oh, love it. He's on, he's on, he's on, he's on fire. Some cracking right. shots. Yeah, it's getting quite dark now. It's quite handy, I'm finding them with this and... You can still see this in colour though. Yeah, that's right. right in front of we were using it the other night and it was a lot darker than this. And we can still see the strawberries and everything hanging in there red. Um, and Paul was saying that you can shoot with this to at least three quarters of an hour to an hour after dark. And, and we have been. He sent me a new IR down. We had an IR and it was a bit too bright. This one we can adjust it. So, um, yeah, well, we're going to try that in a minute. We're going to keep going around. We're just going to go back along the other end of the strawberries and come back. And uh, there seems to be a few in these raspberries, but it wants a little bit more dark, so they sit a bit tight. They've been now we shot on them a few times. They're a bit jumpy, sir. So. That's cool. Really yeah. good. Yeah, so good to go. When we lose the light completely, things get a bit trickier. Right, right. David's additional Wicked Light IR overpowers the tube, which comes with its own IR unit. We struggle to find a balance where Gary can shoot without glare and David can film through the Panasonic camera. We decide that's something for another night. These rabbits going to go to a good place? Yeah, they are. They're, they're pretty well sought after at the moment. Decent rabbits and I'll skip, I did one just a minute. I, I can't see that getting to the game, did I? I can see that going indoors. Really fat, lovely fat around the kidneys. So I'll be picking that one out. Um, but no. It was nice using the 17 tonight. Well, not for me, but I was having to go a long way to pick them up. But Gary had several there, well over 100 yards. Although they've shot thousands of rabbits between them, on. they still love it. And it's great to see rabbits making a comeback. If you are looking for a new night vision unit in time for the crops coming off, you can find the best deals from the UK's best dealers for Infiray's Tube TD50L at kitfinder.co.uk. It retails for around £899.